In the first few pages of Gillian Flynn's new novel Gone Girl, I was thinking, this is it, one of those rare novels that's unique and totally engrossing, cleverly plotted so that each new development has me astounded and eager to find out what happens next. Then the story continued as Midwestern husband Nick began to deal with his wife Amy's sudden disappearance, and some gradually revealed details that might cast doubt on his own innocence in the matter. During that time, the book dropped down from the level of extraordinary to merely somewhat intriguing. However, once I reached part two of Gone Girl, Boy Meets Girl it was like Ms. Flynn kicked it up a notch, and the book became amazing again. Without giving any spoilers, part two unveils some major plot twists that cast Amy's status in an entirely new light. From that point on, the story moves along in powder keg fashion. The fuse has been lit, and it's only a question of how long till the explosion and how much damage will be done when it happens. Flynn has a distinctive writing style that really involved me in what was going on with her two main characters. I had previously purchased but not yet read her sharp objects after several recommendations. Now I will have to read it and also get her first book, Dark Places. Only one warning, though, Gone Girl contains a fair amount of foul language. This was not a problem for me but it might be for some readers.